welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And our penultimate edition of the match day program watch the away version where we we do a little table as well as we hit the last two programs we've still got wolverhampton wanderers back in september yes uh heading the group so today we're gonna have a look at this one we're gonna look at brighton and whole albion's offering end of season offering their last home game which has a significant uh input on this why obviously you do get more end of season stuff uh, although City didn't do it in ours but hey uh, normal clubs do so it may affect just what we're going to see as far as City bright and content concerned we'll have a look through it anyway please if you are new to the channel please push that subscribe button push the bell notification it's great to have you on board everything City of course past present and forever information vlogs reviews previews you name it we do it we have a look at it and of course, there will be a, a program, top top ten program covers of the season as well. There won't be many city ones in that, I don't think. But uh, we'll have a look anyway over the next two or three weeks. So uh, join me back for that once we've got uh, Brentford out of the way. Uh, something, a little FA Cup final and a little Champions League final out of the way. We'll have a look at that anyway. Right, please, if you are pushing those buttons, press that little like button as well, guys. I'm trying to get at least 20 likes for these cities and vlogs. I can get there sometimes easy enough, other times a bit more difficult. So if you just hit that button for me now, I'll be very grateful. Yes, as I said, Wolves still lead. Fulham in second, Spurs third, West Ham fourth and Leicester fifth. So let's see if Brighton can nudge their way into that. Right at the bottom is poor old Southampton. They got relegated. They're also bottom of the Programme League. Yes, the the, Co the Carabao Cup version and the Premier League version uh, went, both went to the bottom of the league. So never mind. It's not been Southampton's year, has it? I'm sure, I'm sure they're not as disappointed with my table as they are with the actual official Premier League table. £3.50 sounds good, doesn't it? But, but... I'm only 68 pages. Uh, nice looking layout, but again, you've got Captain Dunk. I think it's Dunk anyway on the cover. I've, I've, I think it's Mr. Dunk on the cover. But yeah, in 60, 68 pages, we've got a massive 23 pages of ads and sort of promos. I mean, there's a couple that you could probably call ads and promos as well, which I've not put in. That's a massive 35%. I think that's the highest this season of actual ads and promo as opposed to content. So very... Not disappointing, they've got to make the money, I suppose, but yeah, it's a bit disappointing on the old stuff to read in this program. And of course, we've got all the usual we've got the Southampton, uh, Southampton, Brighton manager, uh, the manager, the uh, execs, uh, Dunk, of course, players and staff interviews we're going to have in this, some pictures, under 18s, under 23s, the women. So you've got all the basic, simple things talking about the end of season. And, of course, there's a little thread throughout this because they're rightly proud of their qualification for Europe. Yeah, I've even even seen in a couple of the articles the best team we've ever had. I mean, you think of the team who got to the FA Cup final, et cetera, and stuff like this. It's, it's Yeah, I mean, you can't argue with it, but uh, that's quite an achievement, is it, this season? Especially the season where the, the manager left very early in the season, didn't he? So it's quite amazing how they pulled this off. Uh, the six pages... Uh, on the 22-23 season, so you get match reports well, from, say, one from each month, one or two occasionally uh, from the 2022-23 season with key games. And it starts off with the 2-1 win at Old Trafford in the very first game of the season under, of course, Mr Potter at the time. Uh, and it will finish us up, of course, with the 3-0 win at Arsenal that did clinch us our little title, our little back-to-back-to-back, uh, -to -back -to -back, wasn't it? Our little 3 P. Lewis Dunk, as you'd expect, because he's on the cover, he's the main Q&A and just basically asked about the season and his ups and the ups and downs, etc. Mainly ups, so that's not too bad. Season in pictures is, as it says, yeah, the odd picture of the women's team as well, but it's just a, 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 a reprisal of the season. And that's really all there is on Brighton, <laughs> say just the basic stuff. On City, let's have a look. City, we've got four pages, a little bit about our history, a little bit about this season, how we've done, and congratulations from Brighton on winning the league, etc. A couple of interesting stats. You have the stats up to this Brighton game, of course. Average passes per match, City have made 661. I don't think it was quite that high against Brighton. And we've been all the games so far up to that Brighton game. Obviously, it was 37th game on it. So in 36 games, 
and made 169 fouls. So some, some okay stats of interest to me. But then, disappointingly, yeah, very disappointingly, as far as City versus Brighton is concerned, anything from previous times, we do get a, a little match report on the game at the Etihad, uh, the 3-1 win for City, of course. But that's it. Uh, nothing else, nothing at all. Nana, a zilch. Of course, yes, all right, it's the end of the season. They've got stuff in summarising the season, but I think the, the ads and promo percentage didn't help. And there's a lack of space to put anything history-wise in it. But very disappointing, and it's certainly a big disappointment on our penultimate match day programme away watch. Um, and it's certainly not going to wo- worry Wolves at the top of the league. As a memento for Brighton fans, of course, it's a nice little memento summary up the season as a... As an away fan who wants to perhaps read a bit about history and stuff like that, it's not so much, not so much. So on my criteria for marking it, of course, it's only get they're going to get the bare minimum, which is I never give any program less than six. But I will, unfortunately, although they qualify for Europe, I'm going to put it at the bottom of my table. So good old Southampton got, a, they've moved a place up, so they've done very well. They've they've got a, they've accomplished next to bottom. All right, we've still got Brentford to have a look at too, but uh, yeah, Brighton goes to the bottom of the league. I'm sorry, Seagulls. Uh, you know, uh, interesting game. I was there that night. Uh, interesting game. And you qualify for Europe, one of your best seasons ever, but your programme was pretty naff, so it's going to go down to the bottom of the table. So there we go, Wolves with one more programme to watch. And the thing is, it's Brentford, don't forget. Brentford was quite good last season. It was quite a good programme, but it will have to be good to beat Wolves. So we've still got Wolves at the top. We'll see how Brentford do. And when we get that, I've ordered. I've had to. I'm not going to Brentford, so I've had to order that uh, from the Brentford shop. So hopefully, I should get it soon. I'll be doing that after the Brentford game, of course. So look out for that. Okay, as, as I said at the start of this uh, little show, uh, there will be the program cover awards, which we might a couple of cities might sneak into it, but we'll, we'll see. Will Bright? Will Brighton's win that? Uh, possibly not. No. And will these guys win it? Possibly not. They possibly won't win the cover. I mean, they look as though they've got an excellent chance to win the programme of the season, but I don't think they're going to win the cover. We'll, we'll look for something a little bit more quirky on my little top 10 cover awards. So we're tuning back for that. That'll be over the next couple of weeks uh, after the end of the season. And, of course, I'm having a couple of specials on the FA Cup final programme and the Champions League final programme as well, hopefully in a happy frame of mind. It won't, won't be the same doing that when... It, Things don't go right. It won't be. It won't be too. You know, when you sort of try to look back and look through something, it's, it's it's much better when you've won a game or things things are happy to actually do that. So join me for that. Plenty of program stuff still to come before we finish the season off. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. You can get this. You can get Brighton from the Brighton shop if you want it. Yeah. Okay. So three pound fifty plus uh, post and packaging, but uh, yeah. Uh, very poor, very poor. Not, I was looking forward to it. It looked good. Layout was nice, but I had a flick through and I thought, there's not a lot of stuff in here that's going to interest me. And uh, I was right to think so. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we meet again, oh, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.